Hello and welcome to another episode of Pop Rap that you find on the IVM Pop feed, both the YouTube channel and the audio platform. Today I have with me a <laughs> big. I we have we are four people today and we have Nikhil, a uh, bus Hello. and Antariksh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my contribution for this episode. Thank you guys. <laughs> so, आज हमने एक बहुत ही ऐसा research और technical topic उठाया, which is uh, किस तरीके से colors use होते हैं cinema में emotions uh, depict करने के लिए कि आप अगर वो scene देख रहे हो, वो movie देख रहे हो, तो उन्होंने उस frame में कैसे colors को use किए, वो emotion आपके अंदर evoke करने के लिए. Like how, हम... like how Big Boss uh, on colors TV. <laughs> बट हम सारे अपने अपनी तरफ से कुछ 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 रिसर्च कर रहे हैं तो हम लोग आपको इंट्रो में फटाफट बता देते निखिल वट आर यू गोन टॉक अबाउट आई एम गोन टॉक अबाउट ग्रम्पीओल बॉलीवुड वन वेरी स्पेसिफिक सॉन्ग एंड वेरी स्पेसिफिक फिल्म दैट हैज फीचर सेवन शेड्स ऑफ लव फ्रॉम द अरेबिक फिलोसफी अचानक ही जो बैलेंस कर दिया देखो ये मैंने रिसर्च किया रिसर्च किया और ये कम्फर्ट है अब्बास वॉट आर यू गोन टॉक अबाउट सो आई हैव अ लिस्ट ऑफ फिल्म दैट वेर अकॉर्डिंग टू मी कलर वॉज यूज ब्यूटिफुली एंड आई हैव अ फ्यू फिल्म मेकर कलर Very beautifully. Uh, beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> In their film. So it's a mix of uh, Bollywood and, ho- and Hollywood, and but Hollywood. it's it's mostly Hollywood with a few uh, few Bollywood films thrown in, and I think uh, one of the filmmakers you are also talking, talking about. about. So there's a okay. bit of an overlap. Of course, it's yeah. not according to you, Abbas. You found it on Twitter. Let's be honest. No, no. So Twitter pe, agar aap jaoge to ye bahut artsy fartsy films ka ki list milti mm-hmm, hai. Mm-hmm. Usme se ek do hai isme, but there are also mainstream films which I think have used color very well. Nice. Great, in great. That, Antarik, yeah. are you talking about? Uh, Balam Pichkari, the song from yeah, Nizani, the yeah, yeah, very much, yes. Holy Kerala! All holy. You are wrong. Yeah. I was talking about Rangbar. <laughs> <laughs> Rangbar. Uh, I will give, do me a favor. Let's play. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> any any more holy songs you want to throw out there? <laughs> uh, I am going to talk about. Uh, so literally two things come to mind when uh, the second you said colors and i did next to no research for this hmm. <laughs> because uh, busy man no that's not true uh, jackie chan uh, okay. firstly is is famous uh, for using color really well okay. in not exactly his shots in the clothes that he wears mm-hmm. uh, in comparison to hollywood especially so i'll mm-hmm. talk about that mm-hmm. uh, and also in bollywood also you can compare and the second thing i want to talk about is a very special guy ritchie movie his first film called lock stock and two smoking mm. barrels okay. that again uses color like color co- color correction in a very interesting way great right. so that so if you're going to talk about colorful clothes you also should mention govinda yeah and you we Just should mention a- you <laughs> then, yeah, today of all days of all days <laughs> so am i actually yes. wow uh, but uh, i am going to talk about uh, bhansali cinema mm-hmm. i oh, am very gonna, good yeah, yeah good. and i am going to talk about color psychology basics rgb kis liye use kiye jate hain aur un basic colors ka bro that's kya, ram gopal verma No, that's Ram Gopal Verma. Ram Gopal Verma. R G B. R G B is Ram Gopal Verma. And that was a joke, Snail. See, that's why we have two comedians and one producer here. <laughs> and what are you? Uh, I am still figuring. <laughs> <laughs> This is how it's gonna be, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, <laughs> basically. So that's the episode for today. ये आपका ऐसा preview के time पे खत्म नहीं हुआ. Thanks for joining. That's 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 all. You will find the list in the description. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram. <laughs> जहां जहां से हमने रिसर्च किया है उसके लिंक्स हम डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल देंगे एंड वील सी यू आफ्टर द ब्रेक व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट ऑल ऑफ दिस अमेजिंग स्टफ हाय हेलो एवरीवन इट्स बीन अनदर ग्रेट वीक ऑन द आईवीएम पॉडकास्ट नेटवर्क On Cock and Bull, Cyrus is joined by Naveen and Meghna. They discuss Mamta Banerjee criticizing the use of a lotus on the G20 logo and the MCD Gujarat and Himachal Pradesh elections. On Simplified, the hosts introduce a new format called Half Pints. They touch upon various topics like the World Cup, sparkling water, and mosquitoes. On Hazard Aged Well, Abbas that's me and Urjita are joined by film critic Sucharita Tyagi to break down Anurag Kashyap's polarizing film Bombay Velvet. Find the episode on the IVM Pop channel. 
On All Things Policy, Carl Jason and Shri Krishna Upadhyay discuss the history of the equal pay movement and recent developments regarding them in Indian sports. And on page 10, Jalasmi Meghnad Nivedita and I discuss Ravish Kumar's exit from NDTV, protests in China over COVID policy and more. Once again, don't forget to visit our merch store on ivmpodcasts.com. We have some exciting stuff for you. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. If you like our shows, spread the word. Tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. You'll also find all our shows on youtube.com slash IBM Podcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week, Kotak Privy League Program and HDFC Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible. And we are back with uh, uh, the episode. Uh, see, surprise! Uh, we are back after the break. And uh, we start with Nikhil. Sure. Can you establish like some uh, you've done some like uh, basics yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Main basics yeah. basics yeah. Hon, taaki yeah. Sare aisa same uh, Kelvin scale pe aajain, jo ki iska ek, uh, important part wale. Kelvin scale basically hota hai ki aapko frame ka warmth batata hai. Hai. To, uh, ag, jitna low hoga, utna warmth zyada hoga. Jitna high hoga us pe, utna cold zyada hota hai frame we start the Calvin scale is something to do with color, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Warmth. It's something to do, it's to do with warmth. Warmth. Okay. So, okay. warmth. I have no of, idea about this. Warmth of the frame. Mm. Like you've seen Millie movie. If you haven't seen movie, if you've seen the poster, then ah. so you'll realize that the blue shades are more and more. What will happen? Because as the degree of the degree, Celsius जो है वो कम हो रहा है वैसे वैसे ब्लू जो है वो उतना प्रोमिनेंट होता जा रहा है केल्विन स्केल का तो उससे क्या होगा जो फ्रेम होगा वो और ज्यादा कोल्ड आपको दिखाई देगा जब भी आपको कोई ट्रॉपिकल रीजन दिखाना होता है तो आपके उस फ्रेम के जो कलर्स होते हैं वो वार्म उस स्केल पे वार्मथ की तरफ ज्यादा जाते हैं जैसे अगर आप कोल्ड कोल्ड क्लाइमेट दिखाना है तो अगर वार्म दिखाना है वार्म दिखाना है तो आप केल्विन स्केल पे केल्विन स्केल पे लो जाओगे okay. और अगर आपको कोल्ड दिखाना है तो आप केल्विन स्केल पे हाई जाओगे hmm. uh, मिली का अगर आपको एक बेसिक एग्जांपल दूं तो मिली में द एंटायर प्लॉट इज कि कैसे वो फ्रीजर में बंद हो गई है hmm. और वहां ठंड बढ़ती जा रही है hmm. तो अगर आप वो पूरा उसकी मूवी का 75% ऑफ द फ्रेम जो है वो कोल्ड ब्लू में ही आपको दिखाई देगा hmm. Hmm. बट ऐसे कुछ सीक्वेंसेस हैं जहां पे डायरेक्टर को वहां पे या सिनेमेटोग्राफर को वहां पे वार्मथ दिखाना था तो जब वो आग जला रहा है आग जला रही है वो तो वहां पे आपको दिखेगा कि फ्रेम जो है वो हल्का हल्का वार्म करेगा ठीक है बट देन सडनली जैसे ही वो आग बुझेगी एकदम आपको वो शिफ्ट दिखेगा कि ओ अब कोल्ड आ गया तो इस तरीके से मोस्टली केल्विन स्केल के साथ खेला जाता है अगर हमें किसी फ्रेम में वार्मथ या कूलनेस दिखानी हो आल्सो दिस आल्सो मींस क्योंकि ब्लू एज अ कलर कि बहुत सारे मीनिंग्स होते हैं जिसके बारे में आगे बात करेंगे बट ब्लू आपको थोड़ा सैडनेस और लोनलीनेस भी दिखाता है तो और वार्मथ का क्या रहता है जब भी आपके जो वार्म कलर्स हैं जैसे ऑरेंज हो जाएगा येलो हो जाएगा उसमें आप कभी भी कोई भी आपको ऐसा फ्रेम दिखाना होगा जिसमें कि इंसान अकेले बैठा है या उसकी जो थॉट्स हैं वो उसको कहते हैं ना यार तू बड़ी कोल्ड वाइब्स दे रहा है तो वो उन सीक्वेंसेस को दिखाने के लिए हम लोग मोस्टली ब्लू का इस्तेमाल करते हैं जो कि कैलविन स्केल पे हाई एंड पे होता है अगर आपको मायामी में किसी को एंजॉय करता हुआ दिखाना होगा ट्रॉपिकल रीजंस दिखाने होंगे तो आप वार्मर कलर्स पे जाओगे इंडिया <laughs> अगर आपको हिमालय दिखाना है okay. तो आप हमेशा कोल्डर कलर्स पे जाओगे जो ब्लू के शेड्स होंगे वाइट के शेड्स होंगे इफ यू वांट टू शो गोवा देन इट विल बी वार्मर या ऑफ कोर्स ओह इफ यू वांट टू शो कश्मीर इट विल बी कोल्ड या लिटरली यस आई नो एग्जैक्टली बट इट्स बिकॉज़ नेम रीजंस एंड ऑडियंस फील कर रही हो उस फ्रेम में वो आप कैलविन स्केल से डिफाइन कर सकते हो सो हाउ डज दिस वर्क आउट इन टर्म्स ऑफ कलर मतलब एक तो यू अंडरस्टैंड जब कोल्डर करना है तो यू इंट्रोड्यूस मोर ब्लू इन टू दिन बट ऑन द अदर साइड ऑफ The like more red orange into the frame is warmer so it's like that thermal gun through which you see like the way snakes basically the basically basically yeah. that nice yeah. nice so nice. that was the the calvin scale thing 
Yeah, you that's like one concept out of the colors. Out, out, out of the, the entire, yeah. That's the first thing that showed up on uh, uh, Snail. Google search. Google search. Yeah, <laughs> basically, first link. When I wrote the color of cinema, he said Kelvin scale. Mega mask. And then after that, I also see that you've broken down what each color means. Yeah, bro. So I was based. So I colors. Ka like sa- this is you broken down what they mean on film. Is that right? Yeah. So psychology of colors. Psychology of color. If you see these colors, then you see your own color. Like this. स्क्रीन पे कलर देखा hmm. तो आपके माइंड में किस तरीके का इमोशन वो कलर एक इवोक कर सकता है बेसिकली ठीक है अब जैसे रेड है एक्चुअली इस टॉप इस टॉपिक का इस टॉपिक का आइडिया मुझे आया जब मैं वो देख रहा था क्या कहते हैं फ्रेडी फ्रेडी में देरा सो कार्तिक आर्यन का जो कैरेक्टर है कार्तिक आर्यन का कैरेक्टर बहुत ही इंट्रोवर्ड शाय अपने में रहने वाला कैरेक्टर दिखा है बट उसके अंदर कुछ ऐसी जगहें हैं जहाँ पे रेज टेक्स हिम ओवर तो उन जगहों पे देव स्पेसिफिकली पुट एलिमेंट्स जो उसके चेहरे पे रेड लाइट थ्रो करते हैं डिनोट करने के लिए आप यूज कर सकते हो उससे आप बहुत चीजें प्रोजेक्ट कर सकते हो रेड से आप डेंजर कर सकते हो रिवेंज कर सकते हो ऑन द फ्लिप साइड रेड से ही लव भी आता है लस्ट भी आता है पैशन भी आता है तो ये अब किस तरीके से रेड को यूज करते हो फ्रेम में वो बहुत जरूरी होता है इसका सबसे बड़ा एग्जांपल जो मुझे देखा था आई विल आई थिंक सिनेमा वाली लड़की इज द हैंडल इज इज द यूट्यूब चैनल में लिंक डालूंगा जिसका मैंने वीडियो देखा था उड़ी uh, गाना था उसके hmm. अंदर शी शी इज ब्रोकन डाउन फ्रेम बाय फ्रेम की इसमें संजीला बंसाली ने कलर्स कैसे यूज करे हैं एंड रेड उसके अंदर एक बहुत uh, बढ़िया तरीके से उसने बताया कि कैसे जो धीरे 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 रेड का अमाउंट ऑफ रेड बढ़ता जा रहा है फ्रेम में इंटेंसिटी बढ़ती जा रही है फ्रेम में और कैसे कैसे रेड रिवील हो रहा है जैसे स्टार्टिंग में वो अगर बैठे हैं तो उसने ऐश्वर्या रहने जो स्कार्फ है वो रेड ले रखा है ऋतिक रोशन का जो बैकग्राउंड है वो रेड है बट मोस्टली डोमिनेटेड विद ब्लू है क्योंकि उस टाइम पे उसके जो जिस सिक्वेंस में वो गाना आ रहा है उस टाइम पे वो सुसाइड कॉन्टेम्पलेट कर रहा है ठीक है बट उसकी टाई रेड है Okay. जो शायद एक होप देती है कि यू नो ही कैन स्टिल बी लाइक हैप्पी बट ऐश्वर्या राय का जो स्कार्फ है वो रेड है उसकी जो लिपस्टिक है वो रेड है उसका पूरा ड्रेस ब्लैक है बट उसके ड्रेस में नीचे ऑनसॉम्ब्र जो है वो रेड है एंड hmm. धीरे धीरे जैसे जैसे गाना आगे बढ़ता है अपना वो स्कार्फ हटाती है तो उसके बालों में लाल गुलाब भी है तो वो कैसे रेड का इंटेंसिटी बढ़ रहा है और कैसे हर रेड अलग चीज आई जस्ट रिमेंबर आई जस्ट रिमेंबर दैट डोनाल्ड ट्रंप दिस इज अ दिस इज अ थ्रोवे बट डोनाल्ड ट्रंप इज नोन फॉर वेयरिंग हिज रेड टाई या uh no wonder he incites so many emotions and so many people <laughs> <laughs> right we yeah. get angry people fall in love with him no it's but okay. uh, also this is not film related but yeah. the most iconic uh, color scheme uh, red and yellow is what mcdonald's uses yeah that's yeah. because yeah. because like he mentioned red hungry. is associated with lust and with attractiveness yeah. red and yellow and, and yellow Their and idea yellow is, is hunger that from yeah. far away you wait, will wait. be able to <laughs> tell me subway <laughs> colors what do they mean <laughs> subway also has yellow in it yeah. though yeah but one yellow Low, so make a difference. mostly what you will see is जो eateries होंगी जो ऐसी chains होंगी उनका color red या yellow ही होगा mostly and सबे का color green इसलिए because they are promoting health yeah and green is a color जो आपको health की तरफ वो करता है आपको याद होगा कुछ पहले जो था जो chemist का प्लस होता था हाँ. वो पहले रेड होता हाँ. था करेक्ट हाँ. उसको चेंज करके ग्रीन किया गया रेड होने का रीजन ये था कि आपको दूर से दिख जाए कि भाई लाल जो है Correct. वो यहाँ पे केमिस्ट है अगर yes. आपको जरूरत है लोग डर जाते थे पर कलर स्कीम के वजह से ये हुआ कि उन लोगों ने उसको ग्रीन किया बिकॉज ग्रीन इज समथिंग दैट प्रमोट बट एनी मोर इंस्टेंसिस दैट यू सीन जिसमें रेड ऐसा यूज हुआ हो जिसमें आपने डिफरेंट इमोशन देखे हो कि रेड से उन लोगों ने बताने का कोशिश किया एंगर Ha like do you have any examples yeah, like, uh, I'm trying to think uh, so shout out me the angry angry yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. colored red, red, red yeah. correct yeah yeah also the whatsapp emoji is also red 
of anger of yes. anger correct yeah, correct uh, so film related uh, i think when it comes to portraying environments hmm. if you guys have seen the film uh, uh, the martian okay mm-hmm. uh, mars uh, all of mars and whatever pictures we have gotten so far from the yeah. planet they are that reddish orange hmm. color and mm-hmm. i think the it adds to because that's also a color similar to a desert we would see yeah. on on our planet on, on land it just uh, denotes that harshness of the of the terrain yeah. of mars so I, i think martian is the one film that comes to mind when it when i think of reddish planets or you know reddish yeah. atmospheres of harshness that's the one movie that comes to my mind that's yeah, that's yeah. Cool. quite spot on bahut bahut log har bar matlab red is that go to color ki agar aapko kahin pe gussa ya danger dikhana hai to aap red light use karo right yes. as simple like, as yeah, that yeah the saying goes i'm in the red yeah so yeah. matlab uh, what saying is this <laughs> yeah ke hey, is it i'm, I'm, I'm in the, the red, red. I'm in the that's red. the okay. saying abbas okay maybe yeah. i am the, the only one who doesn't know <laughs> and, and ironically you are the only one in red today yeah. <laughs> he's not in the red <laughs> yeah uh, but uh, uh, yeah matlab that is वन कलर जो आप एक नो ब्रेनर की तरह यूज कर सकते हो कि अगर गुस्सा है एंगर है तो लाल दिख बदलापुर में बहुत यूज हुआ है अगर बदलापुर में यू विल सी यूजेस ऑफ रेड आई रिमेंबर्ड द गर्ल इन द रेड ड्रेस मैट्रिक्स yeah is part of uh, the training code right that uh, yeah. morpheus takes him through yeah and the distracting because she just stands out so much lust yeah exactly. it's lust right? it's yep. lust uh, yes i mean the yeah. matrix itself has that whole greenish hue throughout it's, its whole uh, yeah. visual element yeah. Yeah. so yeah that's a very uh, uh, you know but what do you conscious think, choice they they but took what what does that signify the, the hue what do you think uh, so even i think when uh, when neo is not in the matrix there is a very palpable greenish filter that they've put that throughout too, yeah. the whole film yeah oh like that i okay. think yeah for me it was to give an uh, give a computerized look to mm-hmm. the to the to the film mm-hmm. and then it just became like a quintessential matrix thing so then they continued with it in the in the sequels as well mm-hmm. but i i i guess it was to give it a little bit of an otherworldly uh yep. look with, look with, and the, feel, with the black yeah. blacks and greens that they've used primarily in the in the movie do you know any examples of green jo bahut significantly tumhe yaad ho green yeah green yes uh, marijuana everywhere <laughs> in every movie that's ever been made about marijuana and it is apple express moving on a half baked <laughs> shut up <laughs> kaate kaate uh, kaate had a greenish yeah kaate had a greenish yeah. tint but that was just him copying the bit yes. <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to go back to my favorite series house of the dragon that's your favorite series oh man off late yes okay but what what's the significance of green in that oh so green in the show at least it's supposed to uh, represent a f- uh, passion of war like the beginning of war it's the announcement of war so okay the lore goes that the high tower uh, burns a green fire every single time that they are announcing a war so there is that entire glorious scene of uh, queen alicent yeah. walking into the marriage wearing a green dress given okay. that she's a high tower essentially setting off the events that lead to the dance of the dragons mm. and house of dragon so and that's not the only time that uh, george r r martin has used colors it is a theme in game of thrones and the whole lore where you see uh, recurring themes of colors like the white walkers hmm. you'll have the all blacks or ma- manning the wall but it was more bluish actually now that you because they are cold Again, right cold, yeah, yeah, cold, yeah. And cold. dead yeah And Be- because so th- their you slogan said, is no, death is also blue winter said, no? is coming right yeah, yeah don't yeah you don't explain <laughs> I, get, i get what you're saying <laughs> you're talking to me like i'm like five years old antriksh winter cold december winter mane thand aisa fridge khol ke lagta hai na kya <laughs> what i was asking though uh, wasn't well, no. blue also related to death yes, because they are the undead right yeah yes. so blue That's is also right. related to death we we will come to blue the next color would be blue uh but abhi green dragons. game thrones finish kar lena the green number one war uh, white and blue he is used to represent the dead and the mm-hmm. cold together now that you mention it uh, he is also used white to depict honor at times yeah because uh, there is a whole concept of the white cloaks which are the yeah. kings yes. Yeah. Yes. they have to wear a white cloak along with them so and they are supposed to be the most honorable knights in all yeah. of seven kingdoms that's what jamie was in the original game right? yes yeah. yes right. yes why uh, sanjay leela bansali also has uh, used white to show honor pride and purity yeah. in uh, all of the gangubai hmm in gangubai gangubai is actually one film jisme uh, society ke agar lens se aap dekho to that is the most unpure area 
जहाँ पे ये पूरी फिल्म हाँ बट उसने उसको व्हाइट उससे दिखाया है तो दैट इज दैट इज वन वेरी व्हाइट या एंड दैट इज लाइक वन वेरी स्मार्ट वे टू यूज व्हाइट टू डिपिक्ट एन एंटायरली ऑपोजिट इमोशन With uh, that color, right. it is Even, also uh, it's a commentary on the uh, character also, right? The character yeah. is overcompensating because yeah. they're exactly. जो ईमान पे दाग लगाए, so they're wearing the most spotless piece of clothing spotless that they can find. Spotless piece of clothing. Yes. Even uh, Shah Rukh Khan is dressed in white in most of Devdas, even though he's supposed yeah. to be a drunkard. He's yeah. supposed to be. uh losing his way, hmm. but he's dressed in white most of the time because I I guess he considers himself. purer than everybody else also when you mention devdas yeah. devdas mein uh, you'll see a very uh, uh, significant use of red golden blue and white ye char colors hai jinke upar bhai ne puri picture bana di hai but Take... sanjali la bhansali made the bluest of all blue films yeah which was samaria 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 so samaria mein you'll see you'll notice which a is very... on my list i am one of those few which people which is also who are... my who... i i like yeah, the film even yeah. i like hey, i yeah. like samaria i don't okay <laughs> <laughs> because i haven't seen it <laughs> samaria mein you'll notice ki so ek to ab okay can, like are we jumping to sanjila bansali no, or no, like we, we have, have things to cover sure, we can okay but we can go all over we can jump to yeah. sanjila bansali okay chalo so sanjila <laughs> bansali so sanjila bansali ke bare mein ek oh, wait, mm. green ke related ek aur hum pe ye kisne hara hara, hara rang dala sai so i don't know what it's like yes but green that is blue <laughs> <laughs> now the picture happiness oh okay <laughs> because khushi ne hamari hame maar dala yeah, yeah. <laughs> to green se aapko happiness mila but uske andar ek aisa tint of envy bhi hai yeah green se happiness to milta hai correct और वो थोड़ी थोड़ी सी वो एनवीएस भी है क्योंकि जिससे वो प्यार करती है वो तो पारो पारो कर रहा है यस पर पारो ने तो कहा दारू छोड़ दो हाँ सो सांवरिया पे सांवरिया की अगर हम बात करें तो सांवरिया में अगर आप सो संजय लवन साल इज वन पर्सन हु लाइक्स टू बिल्ड हिज ओन सेट्स ही सेल्डम लाइक्स टू यू नो शूट on a pre existing location yeah on, on a real location he would want ki yaar mera set banaya jaye aur ye maine one of the videos mein ye uh, suna tha ki this is because wo apne liye jo ek world create karta hai na that is very personal to sanjay leela bansali mm. to he wants ki jo shehar maine banaya hai wo shehar waisa hi dikhe jaisa main apne mind mein imagine kar raha hu mm. to jaise agar aap samaria ki baat karoge you will see everything as blue but uske andar दो स्टैंडिंग आउट फैक्टर्स हैं वो क्या है एक रानी मुखर्जी दूसरा रणबीर कपूर ऑफ कोर्स रानी मुखर्जी इज वन पर्सन जिसने पूरी पिक्चर में नीला वाइट. नहीं पहना है क्या ब्लैक पहना है क्या ब्लैक रेड वाइट ऐसे कलर्स जो ब्लू के आगे पॉप करके आएंगे एकदम स्टैंड आउट करेंगे ओके बट व्हाई व्हाट इज दैट बिकॉज़ शी सो शी इज शी इज द सूत्रधार ऑफ द स्टोरी राइट I again I don't He hasn't know. seen it. You you haven't watched <coughs> Samaria. So no. Samaria is basic so Ranbir Kapoor comes to this town which is blue. Theek hai. And uh, uh Rani Mukherjee is playing a prostitute, right? So usme jais jo Gangubai ka jo Alia character hai iske andar Gangubai ke andar waisa hi kuch character hai uh Rani ka R- uh, Rani Mukherjee ka bhi. So the reason why she is always in popping colors is because she has chosen to defy all the all and everything that this town stands for hmm. right so she is never in any such color jo us town se milta julta bhi hai yeah and the same is with ranbir kapoor ranbir kapoor is also not from that town he is an outsider he is come to that town so you will see in most of the frames ranbir kapoor is, is in a white towel correct <laughs> yes you will see oh. ranbir kapoor is having वन और दी अदर ऐसा एलिमेंट जो उस टाउन की सिंक में है ही नहीं yeah. तुम्हें देखोगे कि उस टाउन में सब कुछ लो डाउनर सा चल रहा है पर रणबीर कपूर के हाथ में फुटबॉल है yes. कोई नहीं खेल रहा है फुटबॉल ठीक है उस टाउन में बट रणबीर कपूर के हाथ में फुटबॉल है बहुत ही पेल नॉर्मल चीजें चल रही है बट रणबीर कपूर के हाथ में रैंडमली गिटार है इट्स जस्ट दैट वो उस टाउन प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर रॉकस्टार है उस टाउन के सिंक में रणबीर कपूर नहीं है एंड वो चीज जो उसे पॉप आउट कर रही है एंड तभी आप देखोगे सोनम कपूर जो हु इज ड्राउनिंग इन दैट टाउन शी इज ऑलवेज इन दोज क्लोथ जो जिन कलर और ह्यूज का बैकग्राउंड है उन्हीं कलर और ह्यूज में सोनम कपूर के ड्रेसेस भी हैं कपड़े भी हैं सो इससे ये पता लगता है कि कैसे 
उस टाउन ने ओवरटेक कर लिया है आ, सोनम कपूर को बट ये दो जो लोग हैं रणबीर कपूर और रानी मुखर्जी वो टाउन से एकदम अलग हैं वो टाउन उनको अपने अंदर नहीं ले पाए ओ वन थिंग दैट रिमाइंड्स मी ऑफ कलर इटर्नल सनशाइन ऑफ द स्पॉटलेस माइंड अमेजिंग फिल्म क्लेमेंटाइन हेयर स्पीक the thing i was going to speak about right the uh, song from very famous movie that set off the careers of the giants that we know today dil se of yeah. course uh, of course dil se uh, the title s- track not the title track satrangi re okay ha ah, hmm. main to hi to uh, but dil se by and large is centered around the theme of the arabic philosophy correct me if i'm wrong abbas that was the racist wasn't it i am not arab <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come on you know what i mean उर्दूर <laughs> I said shades. <laughs> yeah, I said shades. Yeah, LGBT, yeah. Man, LGBT flag. LGBT <laughs> flag. Oh my god! So the first <clears throat> is called hoof. It, <clears throat> it's supposed to mean attraction. <clears throat> the second is uns. <clears throat> That's infatuation. <clears throat> Next is ishq. <clears throat> That is love. It's <clears throat> the peak of love. <clears throat> <clears throat> After that is akidat. <clears throat> akidat is reverence. Like shows worship. Okay. which brings us to ibadat it's literal worship of your beloved mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. after that is junoon junoon is obsession more than passion it's mm-hmm. proper obsession mm-hmm. where you cannot uh, separate the two at that point mm-hmm. in time and then is death Must. moth in the end Sorry. right so if you see the song satrangi re uh, the lyrics also play around with these seven themes and uh, the picturization is done in a way where they use color for a lot of this so if you see sharukh is dressed in black mm-hmm. throughout the song up until the end which mm-hmm. is moth and that's the only time that there is significant unification that happens between the two where the two of them are really really together so hmm. in the oh and metaphor for the movie also spoiler yeah. alert yes exactly exactly wow. i just yeah, yeah just uh, okay. dil se is very meta in that sense yeah like, these wow. levels are very recurring very recurring uh, time and over again the second is uns that is something that hai. you expect out of gulzar by the way yeah exactly yeah. the hmm. second i'm not getting into the lyrics because it's bahut complicated ho jayega hmm. uh, second is uns that's where the sharuk you can see is on this side of the lake uh, and manisha koirala right hmm. manisha koirala is on the other side of the lake in all whites so because he's imagining her hmm. right because that's where the desire is starting to take over now he is desiring this woman more and more yeah. when it comes to worship very interestingly he is used uh, the shades of green oh. very darker shades of green <laughs> right and uh, in of course in ishq is used prolific red red he is also used now in the final two uh, in obsession <laughs> he is used purple <laughs> and then in death obviously is white when but that's the only time even sharukh is changing colors of his clothes so in the final final half of the song when he's depicting death uh, that's when both of them are together and they're both dressed in white in white and the entire background is also very white lit and uh, the whole situation is like it depicts a sense of purity that is associated with death and all of that wow. that's one thing i want to talk about yeah wow oh. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Abbas, you have some movies and lists for us. Yeah. So, <clears throat> top of my list was uh, there's this um, Norwegian film director called Christoph Kislowski, okay. who's made a trilogy of films called the Three Colors trilogy. Okay. And each of those films, uh, one is titled Blue, one is titled Red, and one is titled White. 
एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम लाइक द कलर स्कीम ऑफ दिस फिल्म लाइक द फिल्म विच इज कॉल्ड ब्लू ऑफकोर्स हैज एलिमेंट्स ऑफ ब्लू कलर इन इट दे डील वेरी मच लाइक यू सेट विद द थीम्स ऑफ वॉट दीज कलर्स रिप्रेजेंट सो ब्लू is about a woman who has lost her family in a in a car accident like mm-hmm. the start of the film okay. is is with that mm-hmm. uh, whereas red is about the a woman who has fallen deeply in love with a man so mm. it represents the uh, the passion aspect yeah. of uh, of the color and white is uh, something to do with an ethereal sort of uh, subject matter which w- white represents like a like a gamut of emotions but mm-hmm. uh, there is something other world you're pure about exactly. white yeah. so that those films are very revered so i would definitely recommend check those uh, that trilogy uh, to learn about uh, the the color theory yeah. that you mentioned in cinema apart from that uh, there is a there, uh, there uh, i don't know if you've heard of this filmmaker called wes anderson he's made yeah, a film called yeah. the grand budapest hotel yeah, yeah. i think that has some of the best use of color so just like bhansali he also uh, likes to shoot his films in a very particular mm. on film sets mm-hmm. which are very like aap ek frame dekh ke bata sakte ho ki ha ye wes anderson ha, ki film hai you know mm. so uh, there is a lot of pink and purple in in this film that is uh, very prominent mm-hmm. uh, it's set uh, wes anderson's films are not like the, you it, it's it's a little uh so the the time and place is all very otherworldly like it's not you, you can't say ke ye real hai you know samjha, samjha. so it's very quirky it's very comedic but i would recommend all his films but grand budapest hotel for sure uh, do check it out um kill bill volume 1 from hmm. tarantino i would recommend that uh, specifically about how you can depict violent extreme violence and not mm. make it gory like oh, the oh that episode that uh, scene the the the, the sword sword, sword for the yeah. last i think 20 25 minutes of this film is are very violent very gory mm. with a, uh, with a sword cutting everybody left right and center mm. but still you are enjoying it it doesn't you aapko ulti karne ka man nahi kar raha itna khoon dekh ke you know so he has somehow figured out a way mm-hmm. to depict violence but mm-hmm. still make you still make you feel entertained uh, uh, and kill bill also has a lot of yellow and red yeah. uh, the jump suit that uma so, thurman wears is uh, inspired by a bruce lee, bruce lee uh, film yeah. and uh, the red of course is because there's so much of blood, blood. involved in it uh, dev d by anurag kashyap i oh, think yes. uses very good yep. color oh in pardesi the song when he put his head in the water and he is his nose starts bleeding right yeah. Yeah. so much there's like a it's all black and white for the most part but yeah. you can see the red and the red of the yeah, yeah. Actually, cool. I don't know what that signifies again. Intensity. <laughs> Intensity yeah. Maybe. So I think uh, color oh, also has to is very deeply ingrained, especially in cinema with lighting. Yeah. And I course. think that Dave D is also a very well lit film. Lit film. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so whether or not the subject matter stands the test of, I'm going in bit of hazardous dual territory. I apologize, but uh, visually I think definitely the film still uh, still holds up. So Dave D is one film I have. Uh, Dil se also I had on my uh, uh, on my list. Uh, there are two films. आप लोगों को याद है? Have you seen this cartoon called Speed Racer? Of course. Of course. Yeah. उस पे एक फिल्म बनी थी. Speed Racer. Which was made, yeah. which was made by the Wachowski brothers, who also yeah. But not brothers a, not then. But that's the thing. Uh, if you relook at the film, it may not, it may not be very well revered. But that film is the closest I think that comes to literally putting a cartoon in live action. Like oh. colors, you wise know, colors sure. wise, feel wise, like yeah, yeah, yeah. there. Uh, I remember some film critic had written a review of it where he said, "I want to eat this film," you know, because <laughs> it it looks it it pops out at you yeah. so badly uh, or so like colorfully mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that you want to reach out in the screen and eat it like candy. Okay, okay. So Speed okay. Racer is one film where uh, it may not be very uh, like great, but yeah. the colors that are in the film are are fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um there's a American filmmaker called Sean Baker okay who made a film on two iPhones called Tangerine okay oh i've heard this yes, yes uh, it's this. a film about two transgender women who are friends and they ha- have a falling apart uh the depiction of los angeles like mm. you said when you have to show miami it has to be bright yeah. and sunny uh the neon dip- signs a lot of neon signs in not just that but uh, los angeles is popular for being very hot and humid mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Mo- during most of the day mm-hmm. at the same time it's very uh, parts of it are very de- dusty and yeah. polluted mm-hmm. so he's made two films tangerine is one which he shot on iphones just mm-hmm. just for the fact that 
you can do anything just with a phone hmm. it's it's a fantastic film uh, right down to the way the transgender women who are not very well to do the way they are dressed and the, the whole film is set in one day so it okay. starts from like sunrise till late in the night so the way the atmosphere changes are, oh, uh, along oh, the way yeah. from being hot and humid and warm to i think it, the, the last scene is in a cafe which is like you mentioned very cold and very the blues cold, yeah. and the greens come Understood. out yeah. and he's made another film called uh, the florida project okay where uh, it's it's about a group of people poor people who live in a very run down motel mm-hmm. which is just a few kilometers away from disneyland oh. so he has tried to juxtapose the colorful nature of disneyland mm-hmm. with the poor people ka uh, the, the the run down motel that is there Understood. and he's tried to make a comparison that their world is almost as colorful as disneyland mm-hmm. it's just that we choose to see the disneyland, disneyland aspect, aspect of it yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. uh there's an anime film called akira which mm-hmm. i highly recommend it's yeah. got great use of color especially the reds in that film pop mm-hmm. out mm-hmm. and musicals i think use uh, color very well yeah. Yeah. so la la land and mula rouge i think are two films that uh, would use wonderfully la la land again a film set in los angeles yeah. it depicts los angeles very well and uh, lastly um there is a horror film called mandy uh, which okay. stars nicolas cage okay. okay this is made by a guy who's a new filmmaker mm-hmm. his name is panos cosmatos mm-hmm. uh, i would just like to say if you are someone who doesn't take lsd but would want to know what lsd feels like, feels like. watch the films of pa- panos cosmatos uh netflix pe abhi recently anthology show aaya tha cabinet of curiosities okay usme usne fifth episode direct kiya hai mm-hmm. that is also totally trippy because the like, the coloring and the shades that he has used are very trippy mm. i would highly highly recommend turn off all the lights in your house <laughs> <laughs> put this on uh, the lights are very trippy and beech beech usne vhs wale effects diye hain okay. to kabhi kabhi aapko lagta hai mere tv mein kuch kharab hai kya and you but but then you realize no wo effect hi waisa hai so uh, it's a horror film but not like horror horror uh, nicolas cage is the is the hero and it's a very simple uh, uh, story uh, there are a group of pe- it's basically gajni ka story a group oh. of people kill his girlfriend and he's, and he's out for revenge Best. but the way they have uh, portrayed it is very trippy and mm. he uses a lot of bright pink Understood. red Understood. Uh, greens yeah. everything fuses into one another and it almost seems like time has slowed down when you watch his films mm-hmm. so panos cosmatos is a filmmaker uh, who i think you should definitely check out these films and these filmmakers mm-hmm. great so, nice yeah. nice very cool yeah long nice. list yeah yeah uh antarish did a lot of work for this antarish bhi shit mein likha hai ye mera kam pad gaya yahan pe shayad tum thoda chod le so a few things that abbas said remind me of other things mm-hmm. that uh, could also come under the same thing right like for instance you were talking about uh, what an acid trip could look like just mm-hmm. because through color and all right mm-hmm. i thought of fear and loathing in las vegas there's mm-hmm. a movie called fear and loathing in las vegas i'm sure abbas has seen it yeah uh starring johnny depp and benicio del toro okay it's basically about these two guys who go on a trip to las vegas to just do every drug imaginable oh. that's the movie okay okay the movie is just the half, half of the movie is just them tripping and trying to figure out where this trip is headed and a lot of it is in like a, a whenever especially when they're on drugs right it's more sepia than mm. regular this thing oh. yeah. uh it's to i think to show uh that oh this is not exactly real that Yeah. They are either like thinking of something else or they are like tripping. This is mm-hmm, don't mm-hmm. believe everything you see in this Understood. kind of a Understood. That's one. Uh the other one so great movie by the Fear and Loathing mm. in Las Vegas uh, would recommend. Uh, another one which is similar in what it does. Uh it treats a, the entire movie in sepia. The, the treatment is done in sepia. Mm-hmm. Uh but one of my favorite movies is Lock Stock and Two Smoking yeah. Barrels mm-hmm. directed by Guy Ritchie. Mm. This was his first film. Also uh I I just yesterday I was watching like a thing on this movie mm-hmm. and uh, found out that this movie is cr- is crazy because 17 of the 19 main actors in the film are debutants. Oh. Wow. Okay. Isn't that insane? Yeah. Jason Statham, <laughs> Vinnie Jones, all the debutants in this movie uh which is blew my mind. I'm like dude, fantastic acting by yeah. all these guys. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh but anyway, the entire movie is in sepia because uh 
तो बेसिकली तूने फेरेरा फेरी देखी है राइट फेरेरा फेरी का प्लॉट इज बेसिकली टेकन फ्रॉम लॉक्स ऑफ रिफॉर्म बैट्स ओके सो ऑल दैट थ्री गन्स या 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 देयर देम लाइक गोइंग इनटू द द नेबर्स हाउस एंड फाइंडिंग ओ वो लोग पैसे उन लोगों के पास ड्रग्स इन लोगों के पास है एंड देन गेटिंग इट बैक टू देयर हाउस एंड देन देयर वाज दोस नेबर्स फाइंडिंग आउट कमिंग टू देम एंड टेकिंग इट बैक टू देयर हाउस ऑल दैट इज फ्रॉम लॉक्स ऑफ रिफॉर्म बैट्स ओके so what they've done here is give it like that retro mafia gangster kind of street gangster third kind of look okay for that they have dug- gone for the sepia treatment and it works fucking mm. great in this ha. entire movie and also because they light it very well mm-hmm. with the sepia treatment in mind mm-hmm. like some characters are like lit from down so oh. because because of the the sepia treatment anyway it looks amazing this is just mm-hmm. their face mm-hmm. like it, it like You can see the face, the lines in the face really well. Yeah. If they if they want to be menacing, they look really menacing. Mm-hmm. Uh, so very well done, very well done. And the the third thing I want to talk about is so this is locks talking to some people. Yeah. Like Jayachi. Third thing I want to talk about is Jackie Chan movies in general. Mm-hmm. His Hong Kong work, not his American work. Okay. Okay. Uh, his American work, not because American work goes back to the same American tropes of yeah. using regular colors, what have you. Like for instance, Rush Hour. If you remember, if you see Rush Hour, is this regular blue tone or yeah. dark tone at least? Uh, Shanghai Noon is because it's a Western, is sepia toned. Yeah. But that's very formulaic. Like that's this what they do mm-hmm. anyway mm-hmm. for for these kind of films, right? In his uh hong kong films jackie is known for using very colorful attires uh in comparison to, at least in comparison to his the opponent he's fighting okay. in in any given scene what i mean by that is that say like in in hollywood no you will notice that a lot of fight sequences like mm-hmm. uh, expendables the movie comes to mind mm-hmm. a lot of fight sequences uh actually the entire movie but especially fight sequences are very dark toned ha huh. Okay, you can't really understand what is going on in the stupid hmm. scene. Like, why do they do it? Do make it such dark tones. Yeah. I don't understand. And, and everyone's in dark tone. Hmm. The main, the protagonist and the antagonist are in dark tone. So it's even more difficult to follow where the hands are moving. How are they fighting? What is the different? How is it? How is it? All that. Ha, 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 ha. Jackie, knowing this, mm-hmm. goes the complete opposite way. He's like, I want to be seen because I can fight, oh. and I look fucking badass fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I want to be seen. So whenever like if. uh if like he is wearing white then his his opponent will be like in more co- colorful clothes mm-hmm. or if he, he, he if or if the your opponent is like in plain like you know like br- khaki kind of clothes or mm-hmm. like black clothes then he is in styling understood okay he's in like fucking bright reds and yellows to and highlight basically to highlight, like, yeah to so that you can always follow and also like in in hong kong right especially in jackie films he's directed a lot of his films also mm-hmm. a lot of his films uh the camera will be still like you know like in america right the uh and they do that in bollywood also and you will agree mm-hmm. is they in especially in fight sequences because actors can't really fight yeah. right they're not ha. they're not usually trained right they cheat with the movements so they basically. cheat with the movements yeah. exactly so the, you have to like move the camera around like as the person yeah. is making the strike you can make the you move the camera around to make it look like a fast strike understood okay understood. but jackie can fight and yeah. in in hong kong oh, people yeah. get hurt a lot yeah. okay that's like their mo in when they shoot their film people get hurt a mm. lot so that's why jackie you, Puts his camera still, okay? So you can capture everything. Mm. Oh yes. So when it's still and you can follow the colors that are there, mm-hmm. you can follow his clothes being moved. You it fucking looks yeah. he's so much better. Amazing, right? yeah. Uh, so I think yeah, Jackie Chan is a master at this. I would say, a- at least in my mind. So yeah. Snail. Last me. Yes. <laughs> uh, so. सो आए यहाँ पे लास्ट खत्म करते हैं आई गेस बंसाली एंड कलर्स पे बंसाली की कुछ मूवीज के बारे में मैंने लिखा है लिस्ट डाउन करी है सांवरिया के बारे में हम बात कर चुके हैं मोस्टली मोर और लेस वही था मेरे पास बात करने के लिए बट वेन इट कम्स टू पदमावत रामलीला एंड बाजीराव प्रो ब्लैक वो वो मैं आने वाला हूँ उस पर ब्लैक पे भी बट पदमावत रामलीला बाजीराव जो उसका रिसेंट वर्क है उसके अंदर आप कलर का यूज देखोगे पद्मावत में व्हाट ही रेड टू शो लास्ट जब वो कहता है लहू मुल लग गया वो यहाँ पे लाल डालता है सो दैट दैट इज वेर यूज रेड फॉर लास्ट एनी वे सो पदमावत में आई टेक दिस पेन पदमावत में वॉट हीज डन इज अगर आप रण रणवीर के जितने भी शॉर्ट्स देखोगे और शाहिद के जितने भी शॉर्ट्स देखोगे रणवीर के ऑलमोस्ट सारे शॉर्ट्स डार्क टोन्स और एम टी फ्रेम्स में पॉइंट हेयर इज 
कि नेगेटिव कैरेक्टर्स दिखाने के लिए इतना एविडेंटली डार्क टोन्स और और एम्प्टी फ्रेम्स को यूज किया जाता है और उतना ही एविडेंटली शाहिद कपूर क्योंकि वो हमारा हीरो और एक हैप्पी फैमिली और एक पॉजिटिव उसमें है यू विल सी ग्रैंड योर यू विल सी गोल्ड यू विल सी एवरी पॉसिबल सेलिब्रेटरी कलर दैट वन कैन यूज इन अ फ्रेम इट्स देयर हाँ जी बट इज इन दैट द पॉइंट द फैक्ट दैट द बैड गाय either a is such a megalomaniac that he doesn't see anybody else apart from yeah. himself hmm. or the fact that he, he he is a bad guy because he was he grew up isolated yeah. Yeah. and yeah. apart from lo- course, uh, away from course. love yes, yes. so doesn't that visual element uh, sort of emphasize that ha wahi main wahi keh raha hu mujhe jo shikayat wala part tha wo ye tha ki mughals ko har movie mein mostly aise hi dikhate hain until unless that movie is focused like a jodha akbar of sorts that's yeah. more because of a political yeah, reason that, rather yeah, than exactly, an artistic exactly, reason exactly huh? exactly that's uh-huh. more of a political reason but when it comes to padmavat ki jo main baat kar raha tha ameeriyat mein khazane mein shayad khilji inse zyada hoga right hmm. Hmm. lekin uske bawajood kabhi bhi agar uske ornaments bhi dikhaye hain to wo itne shiny aur wo nahi dikhaye yeah. darker shades ke dikhaye hain aur jab uh, shahid kapoor ka dikhaya jata hai to wo utna grand red gold white it's all there hmm. theek hai ab uske baad jab aap padmavat mein aap wo wala scene jab aata hai jab khilji को ये लोग जब खिलजी को शाहिद कपूर इनवाइट करता है अपने महल में कि तुम मैं तुम्हें मैं एक झलक पद्मावत की दिखा दूंगा पर उसके बाद तुम्हें जाना होगा डू दैट सीन मास्टर पीस इन कलर इन विजुअल्स इन द ग्रैंडर जब पद्मावत को की वो झलक दिखाते हैं यू विल सी दैट्स मोस्टली वाइट एंड गोल्ड दैट शोज कि वो कितनी प्योर है व्हाइट hmm. को उन लोगों ने व्हाइट और गोल्ड को इस तरीके से उ, उसकी प्योरिटी दिखाने के लिए इतना खूबसूरती से यूज किया है आप उस फ्रेम में खिलजी को देखोगे ऐसा लग रहा है वो नहाया नहीं है दस दिन से ठीक <laughs> है और आप उसी फ्रेम में जब दीपिका पादुकोण को देखते हो ड्रेस्ड फुल्ली इन वाइट विद गोल्डन ऑर्नमेंट्स और वो Uh, जो शीशा है वो भी ऑलमोस्ट लाइक ऑफकोर्स वाइट है बॉर्डर जो है वो गोल्डन है इट्स सो अमेजिंग एंड वो आप वो इमोशन जो है वो सिर्फ वाइट और गोल्ड पोर्ट्रे कर देते हैं ऑडियंस को कि यार ये वाइट और गोल्ड है ये प्योरिटी है ये 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 और यहाँ पे क्योंकि खिलजी yeah. ऐसा है ये वो एक भी डायलॉग नहीं है सिर्फ कलर इतना खूबसूरती से वो कलर खेला गया है वहां पे एंड अगेन दिस कम्स टू रामलीला ऑल्सो रामलीला में भी जब तक इन दोनों दोनों लीड कैरेक्टर्स के टोन्स uh, uh, जो हैं लाइफ के जो टोन्स हैं वो थोड़े कैजुअल हैं व्हेन दे आर हैविंग फन व्हेन दे आर यू नो फ्लोटिंग विद ईच अदर हेल्दी फ्लोटिंग ये सब चल रहा है उस टाइम पे आप देखोगे तो स्क्रीन जो है वो सारी हैप्पी कलर से भरी हुई है जैसे ही डेथ होती है रणवीर सिंह के बड़े भाई की पूरी पिक्चर में रणवीर सिंह के फ्रेम में हैप्पी कलर्स है ही नहीं yeah. जैसे ही डेथ होती है अगले सीन में बारिश है और उसके बाद से सारे डाकर टोन है उसके बाद आते हैं हम लोग बाजीराव मस्तानी पे बाजीराव मस्तानी में भी यूल सी मोस्टली दीपिका इज वेरिंग वाइट इसके अंदर क्योंकि हम लोग सो so बाजीराव मस्तानी के उसमें यूल सी रणवीर सिंह ऑफकोर्स यूल सी प्रियंका चोपड़ा यूल सी दीपिका पादुकोण अब द थिंग इज यहाँ पे नेगेटिव कोई नहीं है हमारे पास तो हम लोग कोई भी डार्कर टोन किसी के ऊपर यूज नहीं कर सकते क्योंकि हमें नेगेटिविटी किसी की दिखानी नहीं है तीनों में से कोई गलत नहीं है फॉर दैट मैटर राइट पर साइड्स तो दिखानी है ऑफकोर्स सो प्रियंका चोपड़ा इज ऑलवेज ड्रेस्ड इन वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग कलर्स यू विल सी हर इन रेड यू विल सी हर इन बॉटल ग्रीन यू यू विल सी हर इन गोल्ड यू विल सी हर इन एवरी प्रोमिनेंट कलर दैट देर इज क्योंकि शी इज द लेडी ऑफ द हाउस उसका वो कमांड है ही है बाजीराव में बाजीराव विल बी इन वाइट बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ कॉर्स लाइक देर इज नो एक्सप्लेनेशन फॉर दैट बट देन वेन कम इन कम्स दीपिका दीपिका इज ऑल्सो इन वाइट इन मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इन मोस्ट ऑफ द फ्रेम्स ए बिकॉज शी इज प्योर उसकी गलती नहीं है उसकी कहीं पर गलती नहीं है इट्स जस्ट दैट शी फेल इन लव दैट्स दैट्स प्रीटी मच इट ऑल्सो 
उसका पार डायनेमिक्स हमेशा अगर आप कलर्स के थ्रू देखोगे उसका पार डायनेमिक्स कभी भी नीचे नहीं दिखाया hmm. पर कभी भी उतना प्रोमिनेंट भी नहीं दिखाया yeah. अगर उतना प्रोमिनेंट दिखाना होता तो उसके ऊपर भी वो लोग प्रोमिनेंट कलर्स यूज करते बट एंड तक प्रोमिनेंट कलर्स नहीं है जो वो गाना है इतना फेमस गाना है मैं दीवानी मस्तानी हो गई उसमें भी शी इज़ वेयरिंग वाइट एंड गोल्ड बिकॉज शी इज प्योर शी इज दैट क्वीन बट शी इज स्टिल नॉट द लेडी ऑफ द हाउस जो उतना प्रोमिनेंट उतना प्रोमिनेंस होल्ड करती हो उस मूवी के किसी भी फ्रेम में दैट इज ऑल्सो वन थिंग जो मैंने नोटिस किया वन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट देवदास देवदास में आई आई डो लाइक अगेन बंसाली यूजिंग हिज कलर्स जब वो शाहरुख का घर दिखाते हैं दैट इज ऑल प्रोमिनेंट रेड गोल्ड ग्रैंड पर जब वो इसका घर दिखाते हैं ऐश्वर्या राय का जो कि अपेरेंटली हल्का सा उससे कास्ट में नीचे हैं ठीक है जो वो बार बार बोलते हैं उससे इसी वजह से वो शादी तोड़वा देते हैं उसकी दैट इज इन ब्लू एंड वाइट ऑल्सो डार्कर शेड्स ऑफ ब्लू ताकि वो ऑल्सो प्राइमरली मेड अ ग्लास टू मेड अफ गिव दी आइडिया दैट इट्स फिकल इट्स फिकल इट्स इट्स हाँ और ऑल्सो द आर्किटेक्चर उससे जो ऐश्वर्या का घर है वो मॉडर्न आर्किटेक्चर है और जो देवदास का घर है जो सॉरी मतलब शाहरुख का घर है वो ओल्ड आर्किटेक्चर है इससे ये पता चलता है वो खानदानी अमीर है और वो अभी अभी थोड़े 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 अमीर बने हैं ठीक है एंड देन ऑन द फ्लिप साइड जब ऐश्वर्या की शादी होती है और वो एक्चुअली जमींदारों के घर जाती है yeah. वो घर इज बैक टू दैट ग्रैंड जितना yeah, yeah, yeah. शाहरुख का घर है एंड द मोमेंट शाहरुख लीव दिस घर शाहरुख की बैकग्राउंड में चाहे जितना भी ग्रैंड हो शाहरुख के शाहरुख के इमीजिएट रिलेशन में कोई ग्रैंड नहीं hmm. कहीं पे और उसके कलर्स उतने ही डल हैं शाहरुख को उन लोग ने उतना ही डल कर दिया जितने उसके बैकग्राउंड के कलर्स इन लोगों ने शार्प कर दिए थे उसके बाद डिपिक्टिंग की जो इसकी लाइफ वहाँ थी वो ग्रैंड लाइफ वो अब खत्म द फैक्ट दैट यू डोंट नीड डायलॉग्स एंड अ स्टोरी टू डिफाइन दिस ये सिर्फ कलर्स से ही हम लोग डिफाइन कर देते हैं अगेन लास्ट थिंग दैट आई हैड इन माइंड जो कि मैंने नोटिस करा था मतलब इट्स नॉट लाइक रियली कलर कलर बट लाइक वन थिंग जैसे आप बालों की बात कर रहे थे राइट right? तो उसके अंदर अगर आप हम दिल दे चुके सनम देखो बंसाली सम वन हु लाइक रियली नोट लाइक वर्क्स ऑन दीज थिंग्स ऐश्वर्या राय जब अगेन uh, सलमान के साथ बड़ी प्लेफुल और फ्लोट और प्यार वाले मोड में होती है उसके बाल हमेशा लूजली बंधे हुए होते हैं लाइक यू नो अगर चोटी बंधी हुई होगी तो ऊपर के हल्के से लूज होंगे फिर नीचे चोटी होगी ऑन दी अदर साइड जब वो शादी कर लेती है नाउ शी इज लुकिंग फॉर सलमान द एंटायर टाइम उसके जो बाल हैं वो टाइटली बन में बंधे हुए हैं सेम इज उधर क्लोज ऑल्सो जब वो अजय देवगन के साथ शादी कर लेती है यू सी हर इन अ वेरी ग्रे शॉल लपेटी हुई साड़ी ये और वो बट जब वो अपने घर में है जब वो सलमान के साथ प्लेफुली फ्लर्ट कर रही है और उसके साथ प्यार में यू सी हर विद ऑल द ब्राइट प्रोमिनेंट रेड्स ग्रीन्स एंड येलोज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बट देन अगेन जैसे ही उसका जो आर्क है वो थोड़ा सैडनेस की तरफ जाता है शी कम्स इन ग्रेज पेल वाइट्स ऑफ वाइट्स सो आई गेस या एंड अगेन द द द लास्ट थिंग आई वुड कंक्लूड विद वॉज द हिम फॉर द वीकेंड सॉन्ग दैट आई वॉज सी उसके अंदर देव लाइक इफ यू सी द फ्रेम इट्स मोस्टली डल बट विथ सम एलिमेंट्स जो एकदम स्टैंड आउट करते हैं यू विल सी एक बेसिक से फ्रेम में यू विल सी अ येल्लो माला ठीक है जो स्पिरिचुअलिटी दिखाएगी यू विल सी यूजेज ऑफ ब्लू यू विल सी यूजेज ऑफ ऑरेंज जो कल्चर दिखाएंगे आपका कंफर्ट दिखाएंगे वाइट पीस दिखाएंगे तो या दैट दैट इज दैट इज वन वीडियो दैट आई वुड रेकमेंड अगर कलर्स का यूजेज देखना और कैसे किस कलर को किस तरीके से यूज किया लाइक इट ओपन विद वाइट पी कॉक यू नो डिपिक्टिंग इंडिया जैसे हम लोग वाइट पी कॉक या या हिम फॉर द वीकेंड ओपन विद वाइट पी कॉक इट्स इट्स अ वेरी डल फ्रेम और उस एक खिड़की में वाइट पी से ओपन होता है सो ऐसे 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 कुछ चीज़ें तो बहुत सारी हैं ऐसे में जो वीडियोस मैंने इस एपिसोड के लिए स्टडी करी थी वो मैं डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल दूंगा 
एंड आप लोग भी अपने जिन जिन बारे में बात किए डिस्क्रिप्शन में डाल देंगे ग्रेट देन सो दैट वॉज द एंड ऑफ दिस एपिसोड वी आर नॉट डूइंग अ रिकमेंडेशन राउंड बिकॉज यू टॉक अबाउट सो मेनी थिंग्स एंड ऑल ऑफ देम विल बी इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन जो बोला है वो सब रिकमेंडेशन है ठीक है वो दिल से बोला वो दिल से भी रिकमेंडेशन है जैकी चैन का हर मूवी रिकमेंडेशन पूरा बंसाली फिल्मोग्राफी अब बास ने तो लिस्ट पहले ही बोल दिया एंड बंसाली रिकमेंडेशन रेकमेंडेशन इज संजय लीला बंसाली या दैट्स द एपिसोड फॉर टुडे एंड वी विल बी बैक विद अ वेरी स्पेशल एपिसोड फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीक व्हिच इज अ क्रॉस ओवर व्हाट यस वी विल हैव द सेम पीपल लिटरली द सेम आई लिटरली थॉट आई वाज ब्रो शिट सीन वी विल बी हैविंग अ हैज इट एज्ड वेल क्रॉस ओवर विद पॉप रैप क्रॉस ओवर विद जस्ट अ फिल्मी गेम शो नाइस एंड वी विल हैव टीम आई वी हैव सारे सेट्स वी विल हैव पॉप या वी विल हैव अ टीम आई वी एम पॉप इट्स बेसिकली द फोर ऑफ अस एंड मैत्री uh yeah. who is the producer for has it aged well yep. and you can check out has it aged well on this channel you can check out just a filmy game show on this channel uh you can check out pop rap on this channel thank you and i'll see you next week bye 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 bye